lecture of the course IWT and today we will discuss about manufacturing process of one more industry which is also agro based industry because it uses raw material which is outcome of agricultural activity. Now very interesting thing about this particular industry that is distillery is that it uses as its raw material a waste which is from another industry and this is nothing but molasses which is waste from sugar industry. So this is the reason wherever you see sugar industry most of the time you see a distillery located on the same premises. You see combination of sugar industry and distillery because the raw material used is molasses. So the topic which will be covered in this lecture are introduction, manufacturing process of ethyl alcohol, use of water, sources of wastewater and characteristics of wastewater. So, as I said raw material is waste from sugar industry that is molasses. Hence, this industry is also labeled as agro base industry and the product of the industry is ethyl alcohol or rectified spirit or it is also known as alcohol of agricultural region. The industry is given name distillery because it uses multiple stage distillation process for separation of ethyl alcohol from mixture of alcohol. So based on the process used in the industry, industry is given name distillery. Okay. So let us look at manufacturing process. The molasses which is liquid waste from sugar industry still it contains 35 to 42 percent sugar but this sugar cannot be crystallized. So you cannot recover as sugar crystal but the same sugar under acidic condition it can be converted into alcohol by yeast. Okay. So this is done in the industry and then the alcohol converted sorry the alcohol produced by yeast is then distilled and ethyl alcohol is recovered. So look at the manufacturing process it starts with dilution of sugar content. So molasses in it water is added known as dilution water till the sugar content comes down to 12 to 20 percent. So now you have diluted molasses and then it is subjected to fermentation. Okay. So this fermentation has to be carried out under sulfur, uh, acidic conditions. So sulfuric acid is added. Then specially prepared yeast culture is added and all the nutrients needed for growth of yeast they are added. The process may take 12 to 60 hours and temperature has to be maintained at 30 degree Celsius. So after the fermentation period is over the mixture it is likely to contain about 7 to 10 percent ethanol. This mixture is then taken for the next process that is multi-stage distillation. So this distillation is done with the use of steam. So a lot of steam is applied and during distillation the ethyl alcohol is separated, it is collected whereas the remaining liquid which is wastewater and it is given special name spent wash. 
So, spent wash is the name given to waste water from distillation process. Okay. Now, this is very simple two step process fermentation and distillation and it can be done either at, as batch process. So, first entire quantity of molasses subjected to fermentation and then distillation or it can be carried out as continuous process both the steps being followed simultaneously right so the process is very simple very easy to remember now let us look at water consumption so this industry is one of the highest consumer of raw water it can be in the range of 125 to 175 liter of water per liter of ethyl alcohol produce. How huge is the water requirement? And here, lot of water is required as dilution water, the, then yeast culture preparation, steam generation. So, the waste water generated is also high, right. So, for process application water requirement is about 14.5 to 21.4 liter, but the non-process application water requirement is even high that is 102 to 240 liter per liter of alcohol produced. So, water budget if you look 33 percent water requirement for molasses dilution which is quite huge, yeast propagation 20 percent, cooling towers 36 percent water, this cooling is required for fermentation as well as during distillation, domestic requirement 6 percent and CO2 scrubber where CO2 is generated during fermentation process. So, about 4 percent water required for CO2 scrubber. Okay. Now, the main source of wastewater is from distillation process and it is known as spent wash. Once ethyl alcohol has been separated, the remaining wastewater, remaining liquid known is wastewater and it is known as molasses. About 3 to 10 kg of molasses is used for production of 1 liter of alcohol and this also produces 8 to 15 liters of spent wash. So, 1 liter of alcohol produced generates about 8 to 15 liter of spent wash. Now, pause the video and think about characteristics of wastewater you know raw material input. So, what can be present in waste water? Okay. So, you might have thought about various impurities like suspended solids and organic material. Right. So, here this waste water is very very different. Okay. It is characterized by high temperature. Why? It is coming out from distillation process. So, where the liquid is heated, hence it is hot 105 degree Celsius. It is also highly acidic and colored and it contains huge percentage of dissolved organic and inorganic matter. In other words, it is also known as one of the worst and almost impossible to treat affluent in the industrial sector. So, here the process is simple, but the wastewater treatment is a challenge. Look at the characteristics of spent wash generated from different processes. One is batch process second continuous process and third one is known as 
biostill process where the dilution is done with not 100% fresh water but part of the spent wash about 25% of spent wash is also used as dilution water for dilution of molasses so based upon the process employed the characteristics of spent wash is different and here you can see the color dark brown volume is highest in batch process list in Biosteel process because of recycling, pH acidic, COD 80,000 to 1,10,000 and highest 1,40,000 to 1,60,000. BOD 45 to 50,000, it can be higher side 60 to 70,000 milligram per liter and it also contains very high concentration of inorganic and organic solids it is in terms of 60000 to 90000 inorganic volatile 80000 to 90000 and total it can be as high as 1 like 60000 to 2 lakh 10000 now in this inorganic solid the spent wash contains huge quantity of sulfate nitrogen potassium and phosphorus along with sodium and calcium so these are the characteristics of spent wash and i hope now you have you have understood why it is known as one of the worst affluent impossible to treat so in the next lecture we will talk about the treatment and waste management so here we'll end the lesson number 13 thanks everyone